guys welcome to cognitive hub talent tutorials in this video i am going to explain about the best practices in talent actually this is the video that i need to share at the starting of my lecture after the installation of talent but here i forgot to mention in the initial of my lectures like in, in the initial videos of my lectures but uh, in the comment section i got a couple of comments like uh, can you please do a video on best practices on talent and all so that's why I decided to do the video uh, like in this particular point of time. So even though I, I am doing it this right uh, in this particular span after doing the 70 videos uh, related to talent. So this is not a late but uh, if a person is starting in like started to learn the talent. So this is the best video to learn how to start and how to design the structure of your particular business requirement or uh, how you can organize the components inside your job this is the best video to uh, watch it so what i am going to do is first of all i am going to tell you the scenario what i am going to do so we have the input file and with that input file what uh, i am storing it in uh, uh, like a t hash output and using the t hash input i am connecting the t hash output and using the t hash input i am doing the few processing steps like aggregation and all and I am uh, giving the output and the t-log row so this is the out, uh, process that I need to do here uh, I decided to do and what are the components that I am discussing here I already explained in my all the previous lectures of my talent lectures if you haven't cleared up like if you haven't know about any of the components that I mentioned here okay, please go to the previous lectures of my uh, tutorials and have a look on that you will get some idea about the what is the exact component like how to use and how to configure such type of components and all now without wasting any time let's get to, to this video so the first thing is we have a one video here uh, sorry one file here that is td uh, like uh, denormalize underscore file dot txt where we have a student id and enroll subjects we have a group of student ids and uh, a group of uh, enroll subjects here and what I'm going to do is in the T sample row, I'm writing T file input delimited. And if it is a first starting component, the component should be in the green color. So whether it is a uh, T file input delimited or whether it is a uh, some some other T run job, if it is a starting component of the job, it always should represent in a green color. This is automatic. So I'm rewriting to the first. Uh, video i am reacting to the file which is denormalize underscore file and the schema is two columns here one is id another one is subjects id is integer i'm saving it and row separator slash and field separator semicolon and the header is one here so you need to be careful about this configuration once you saved it use t hash output and connect it with the main row and double click on the t hash output and sync columns and uh, do not do uh, like uh, do not do anything here just save it now what i am doing here is like i want to say whenever there is a multiple components which is uh, going towards one flow like uh, whether it is uh, suppose if it is a on sub job okay or uh, uh, run if condition or using on sub job error or whatever it may be on component okay like if it is a trigger then that should that needs to be on to the below of that particular component if it is a main row or iterate then it should be to the left uh, right of the particular component suppose if you consider this t hash output we connected it using a main row that means it should be the best practice in talent should use whenever we are connecting the two components using a main row then it should be to the right of the, the first component and if it is if you are connecting using a trigger like on sub job okay or on component okay then that needs to be below of that particular first component so if you consider this this is the main row and i am connecting here using the main uh, that is uh, i am connecting here using the main row and that is why it is on the right of the t file input delimited and what i am doing is t hash input i am inserting this and this t hash input i wanted to uh, use t hash input i wanted to execute t hash input only after the complete first subject gets executed so in order to do that i want 
to connect these two components using on sub job okay so if it that is uh, on sub job okay is nothing but a trigger so if that is a trigger where we need to uh, place it we need to place it below the uh, initial component below the first component so on trigger i am clicking on sub job okay and i am connecting it and if you click the t hash input you need to select the what is the component that you want to map and then the schema as well the schema is id as a number and then name sorry subjects as a string so that's it when you click it now we have a file here again now if i am going to connect another component using on sub job okay then again again it needs to be below the t hash input not below the t file input in it right now the new component should be below the t hash input not uh, like and if you are connecting uh, two components like one is t hash input and another one is some other variable then you need to connect those two components using um, like main row and you need to place that next second component to the right of the t hash input one so that's what i am going to do now so if you consider this uh, i am going to do t aggregate row i am giving that like i am giving the t log row to me sin columns so in the group by condition what i am doing is i am just mentioning the id value here and in the operation i am mentioning uh, objects and count or else uh, we can do one thing team app we can assign we are con i am connecting if you observe this i am connecting using a main row and that's why it is uh, to the right of this thing and i am clicking out row i want both the outputs uh, both the columns to be in the right side and i want one more column which is a count which is nothing but an integer apply okay and i am not assigning any value here so it is just the value but i am not assigning anything click okay saving it and then now t aggregate row and if i am connect this the output component should be like the output component should be id id or else uh, i am going to illustrate about uh, if i am having a matching id and subject then i am going to count this particular value so the column should be count and the function is also a count yeah ignore null values i am keeping that i am saving this and in the t log row i am uh, printing that output this and this this is yeah it is integer yeah now this is fine so if you observe till this point of time i have connected using the main row that's why it is it comes under a single job and if you connect this to the below of this thing it will be fine like uh, the flow of execution won't be disturbed but the only problem is that it looks like clumsy and moreover the standard syntax that it follows in this talent was In the talent design was whenever we are connecting the two components using a main tag or like a main a uh, row, then it needs to be in this straight line. That means uh, the second component should be the uh, on the right side and the first component is in the left side. Similarly, if you are connecting two components, ah, uh, like uh, if you want to execute one after the other, then you need to connect it using either on component okay or uh, on sub job okay. In that case, the first sub job needs to be on the top and the second sub job needs to be on the left. Ah, uh, sorry, on to the bottom. So that is the main best practice that you need to follow in the case of talent and. and i have already explained about few of the triggers like uh, when to use the on component okay and when to use the on sub job okay and when you can use the run if condition and uh, some iterate uh, iterate row as well as main row and reject row and all so i have used all those thing i have already explained about all the all those things but here yeah, just for the best practice i have explained this video and i am running this if any error it will throw an error while building the job if not uh, it will successfully executes 
Uh, so after the first this subject will get executed and then this subject will get executed. Now we oh okay. What I think there is nothing possible here. Oh sorry. I think we need to change this. again yeah now this is fine now if you consider this for this particular 2 3 4 3 2 1 we have algorithms as like uh, we have a matching column as an id and algorithms in the input file as well so if you consider this column 2 3 4 3 2 1 algorithms the same record will be there here in the first so that means we have total two records with respect to that and if you consider the rest of the things all are remaining are only one value here so that's why uh, the corresponding matching, uh, matching to student ID or uh, student ID and unknown subjects as a key, we have only one value for the, uh, all the rest of the things. For the only this particular value, we have uh, two here and rest are fine. So this is what, uh, this is the basic processing that I have done just to illustrate here for this example. And you can do the what are the aggregations or what are the processing that you want to do but here just for the illustration of the best practice i have shown i have illustrated you here and you can do how how like you can do whatever maybe it is like if you want to do 10 sub you know on subject okay they can do one by one one by one one by one until too long and you can't make it you can't yeah you can make on subject okay to the right of your subject but that is not the best practice the best practice is if you, it is a main row, you need to connect it uh, to the right of it and if it is a on subject, okay, you need to connect it below the, uh, below the particular component. So that is all for this video guys. Thank you for watching.